The deeper she went, the more she felt a connection to the hidden magic around her. As dawn approached, she reached the clearing at the heart of the Silver Veil. There, an ancient dragon awaited her, its eyes mirroring the silver sheen of the egg. The dragon spoke, its voice resonating within her mind. You have awakened the legacy, young sorceress. What you protect is not merely an egg, but the future of magic in Eldoria. With newfound determination, Myra vowed to protect the egg and her kingdom's magical future, ready to embrace her destiny as the guardian of the dragon and the silver veil. Storyteller Motion AI has made creation of AI animation videos so easy for beginners. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to start a faceless YouTube channel right after watching this video because Storyteller Motion AI has made creation of AI animation videos so easy with just one prompt. All you need is your story idea and this AI tool will generate the script for you and also generate free AI images for you and most importantly, consistent images for your story. And at the same time, generate the voiceover all for free for you with just one prompt. You can also edit your video with the Storyteller Motion AI and export it right from the platform to your YouTube channel. Let me introduce you to the Storyteller Motion AI that I used to create this video you just watched. So the the first thing you need to do is to get to your search bar and type storyteller motion. Let's click on the second option. Then you need to sign up if you do not have an account or sign in if you already have an account. So I'm going to click on the login. Now let's discuss some features of the story motion AI. So we have the generate button here at the left. We also have the project button, gallery, and then asset studio. Now generate button is what we use to generate our story or our script. We have two options under the generate button. You can use the generate button or generate from prompt if you already have your prompt to create your story or use my content that if you already have a content or you already have a script, then you can use this particular button. So you can also view your past project here by clicking on the project pattern and you can see i have done some projects here and this is a story you just watched now we also have the gallery where we have samples of images that you can create so these are samples of videos that you can create so if you want to create such videos or a video like this with images like this you can scroll down and look at the details of this video and use that so let's close that then when you scroll down again you can see we have this type of images and the detail of this particular video is also shown at the left side so if you have no idea the kind of image style to use this will serve as a guide for you so we are going to close from here now let's go to the asset studio where you can edit your images by removing the background or transforming images from reality to anime something like this you are seeing on the screen now let's go ahead and start generating our story so we are going to click on the generate button and click generate from prompt now we do not have any prompt yet and we do not have any script yet all you need is your story idea so for the story idea i asked ChatGPT to give me list of story ideas filled with magic mystery and adventure so i'm going to choose one of these options and ask the ai to generate the script and also the images for me so if you like you can just copy the title of the story or copy the title plus the description you copy it like this then go back to motion ai in the prompt box paste your story idea the title and the description there now let's scroll down and choose the aspect ratio with the aspect ratio you can choose 9 by 16 for tiktok you can also choose this one for instagram or choose this particular one that's 16 by 9 for youtube so because we are creating this video for youtube we are going to go with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio now scroll down again and choose the style you can see on the screen so i would like to go with a 3d cartoon then scroll up this is going to use 20 credits from the free credit that you have so we're going to click on the generate button to generate our script one thing i like about this motion ai too is that as it's generating a script for you it also generate the necessary images or corresponding images for the story so we have to wait for a while about a minute for the script to be created and the images to be created at the same time this saves a lot of time so we have our storyboard right before us with 16 scenes great so our script that has been created for us with the images so you see this is so easy to create 
so we can preview the images if you do not like the images you can click on the regenerate button for each of the scene or regenerate the images so we can click on this scene and look at the image that came with it so if you do not like it click on the regenerate button to generate another image another thing you can also do is to animate the images by clicking on the animation button here to animate your images if you want to add animation so we can go through the scenes one after the other and one thing i also like about this is the consistency in the images it creates so you can see the images being created look at it the same images running through so we have a suggestion here said try to summarize the content or split this scene each scene is supposed to give a maximum of 300 characters and this particular scene is more than 300 characters so the suggestion is to split this scene into two so we are going to do that before we continue so we also have some grammatical errors so you can edit everything from here if you want then you can go ahead and edit it or leave it like that the maximum scene we can also get is 16 so we cannot split this so we have to read this and summarize it to make sure we get 300 characters for you to get a summary of these we can copy this and then go to chat gpt ask chat gpt to summarize it for you so we have the summary from chat gpt let's go back delete what we have here and paste this so you see it has fit into the into the storyboard after generating your script and also the corresponding images the next thing we're going to do is to start editing our video so click on the next button from here and with the editing we have the style here we have the title so we're going to choose the style of the title we can go with this one if you want so let's select this style then scroll down to the subtitle the subtitle we can go with this or go with this let's go with this style then scroll down to the thumbnail so it can also generate a thumbnail for you so we can go with these this one or this one so let's go with this one then let's go to the scene how you want your images to appear and i prefer to go with the mini zoom when you scroll down we also have transition and so i always prefer the fade in to be more professional then when you scroll down we also have the voice over options so with the voice over option i'm going to choose one of these voice over option so i'm going to go with this particular voice over but before you make a decision you can click on this icon by each of the voice over and listen to the voices first before you click on it if you do not want to use any voice over option here and you already have a pre-recorded voice over that you have done yourself then you can go ahead and choose on none then after exporting your video you can use another editing app of your choice like CapCut or canva to add your voice over to the video so i'm going to go with this one then scroll down to choose a background music but for the background music i'm going to ignore all this music and use the safest one that i know which is the free one from the youtube studio audio library section so we can click on the audio library button if you already have a song in mind then you can go ahead and click on the search or filter library and click on the search button to search for the music you want to use as your background music but if you do not have any song in mind so i went to chat gpt to give me background music suggestion for this story so you can see chat gpt has given me five suggestions here you can copy one of the suggestions and then paste it in the youtube audio library section search bar so we're going to copy this go back to youtube studio paste it here and click on the apply button you can listen to the music here and then choose one of the music that you prefer so we can hit on the play button here and listen to the music first now i'm going to go with the first one i'm going to go with the save the world and click on the download button at the right and download that onto my drive now let's go back to our project after going through your story and then making all the changes and adding all the editing effect to your video you can click on the composite button at the top up here to generate your video this is also going to take you about two minutes to generate a video well our video has been generated and this even took less than two minutes that i even estimated so we can click on the play button from here and play the story you can even click on the storyboard and download the storyboard click on the download button to download the thumbnail and also hit on the download button to download the video in an mp4 file so if you had chosen the background music from here you did not need any other editing app again all you need 
is to download it and upload that onto your youtube studio and make it public now when it comes to the left side you can see we have the summary of the story with the hashtags the script attached and the detail of the prompt that we use to create this story this is how you can create simple ai animation videos with just one ai tool everything will be done here so the next thing we're going to do is to add the background music using an editing app of your choice so this time i'm going to use wondershare to do that so on Wondershare, I'm going to hit on the import media and then go to my downloads. Then I'm going to add the story plus the voiceover and click on the open button to import that into Wondershare. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the story to my timeline like this. Then we can zoom it from here. Then move your pointer to the beginning of the story. Then add the background music here. Now we're going to do from here is to reduce the volume of the background music. You can right click on it or you can double tap on it choose the audio and then reduce the volume so you can see as you are increasing you are pulling it to the right the volume also goes high if you pull the button to the left you see the volume goes down we do not want the background music to overshadow the story so we can click on ok if you're okay with the level of the volume and we hit on ok then after this we can go ahead and click on the export button to export your video onto your drive now we are going to choose the quality of video by clicking on the high button and then choose the resolution to the highest you can so i'm going to go with this one but we also have the highest which is also going to take space on your drive so you need to make sure you have enough space on your local drive before you choose the highest so we're going to go with this and come back to the higher again then we can go ahead and click on the export button and export that onto our drive this video should take about 56 seconds to be exported as you're waiting for our video to be exported completely let's look go back to our download file and look at some of the things that we downloaded from the storyteller motion ai platform so this was a thumbnail that was generated by the storyteller motion ai and we downloaded that so this is where we click on the thumbnail to download it onto our drive so in using the storyteller motion ai to generate your video you do not even need to create a thumbnail again if you want and you can see how it came out so let's go back to wondershare and see our video has been exported or converted successfully well congratulations in just 10 minutes you have been able to generate story for yourself for your youtube channel no. So I hope you're going to give it a try. Let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to support this channel and also leave a comment in the comment section to support this video. If you haven't watched the previous video on how to create keys animated videos using another method, that video will be popping up after watching this video. And if you want to learn more on this channel, we have a full playlist that will also pop up after watching this video. Click on it and go and watch. See you in the next video. Bye.